Greetings everyone, this is Amethyst Tuzi. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here and you think you'd enjoy my content, please subscribe to help my channel grow. I am content with where it is now, don't get me wrong, but you know, we could use a little members, you know, added to our family. Okay, and for those of you who are already subscribed, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it and it is so nice to see a familiar face. Okay, so as you can see in the title below, this is another palmistry video. I am posting these issues back to back to back because I'm trying to catch up. Alright, I'm trying to catch up because I am way ahead on my mother's channel as far as the palmistry series and I want my subscribers to be caught up too. Okay, get caught up. We gotta catch up. And if you haven't seen the videos before this, because we've made it to the more advanced side of palmistry, so please go back and watch the other videos if you haven't seen them. Alright, so let's get into it. This video, as you can see in the title below, is going to be on a little something called the Simeon line, which is a special mark in the palm of the hand that you can find in palmistry. It is a very rare line. It's a, not a common line, alright, but I have come across a few clients who do have this Simeon line, maybe, maybe two the whole time I've been reading palms so it is very rare okay and I want to tell you a little something about the simian line in this video so thank you so much for clicking into this video and let's get right into it I'm gonna try to stop rambling like I usually do and as you already know I have my notes with me all right so the single palmer crease or simian line is what you call the joining of the heart line and the headline basically someone who has a line like this is a person whose emotions and mental powers are blended together okay I hope I didn't say that too fast, all right? So this is what a simian line looks like. It would be your heart line connected all the way. And then instead of stopping here and having that space like most people do, it would be like this, literally like this, without the swirl though. It's not the swirl, all right? That's just a design. This is what it is. This is what it is, all right? That is a simian line also called a single palmer crease, all right? It's kind of hard to say. Single palmer crease, all right? So, within the practice of palmistry, the appearance of a simian line is considered very rare, being that most people don't have this kind of line in their hand, okay? Approximately 10% of the general population have a simian line, all right? In Japan, they call it the Masukake line, and it is believed to be the mark of a conqueror, all right? People who have this line supposedly demonstrate superior leadership skills and are born with great talents, okay? The Simeon line could also be hereditary, all right? There was a man who had this line on his hand, and so did his other family members. He claimed that his father, uncle, grandfather, and brothers all had the same line on their hands, all right? So... And I do believe lines can be hereditary because I've seen lines in my own hand that I also see in other female members of my family. And also, I have a very spiritual family, so a lot of us have the Mystic Cross. That I did a video on the Mystic Cross and what it means um, before this, but it was just like the basics. I mean, yeah, it is the more advanced sides of palmistry, but the advanced side is still pretty basic. There's a lot more to the basic lines, but... As far as the advanced, um, as far as the advanced side to palmistry, the sun line will probably be the most detailed, because the sun line has three different parts. So keep looking out for that. I'm gonna try to knock these videos out so we can get to the sun line. I just finished the sun line series. Well, not really a series. I just finished the third sun line video on my mom's channel. So go check that out. Okay. So out of the percentage of people in the world who have the simian crease, half of the percentage are people with Down syndrome, all right? If you have a child with single palm or crease, don't see it as a problem, just see it as a gift. Because the simian line gets a bad rep because it's been associated with Down syndrome by scientists and things like that and da 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 all right, however, only a tiny percentage of semi owners have this condition. And by semi owners, I mean semi and line owners, okay? So, that is all you need to know about the semi and line. 
this is what it looked like. I wish I had some real pictures to show you, but you know, it's pretty simple and it's it's pretty easy to point out or identify when you do see it. My back hitches. Yeah, so when you do see it. And be looking out for the next videos because these videos are going to be getting a little more interesting as we pursue into the more advanced side to palmistry. I really hope you guys are learning from these videos and I don't got you all mixed up and discombobulated. So this is the end of this video. I know it was very short. I try to keep my videos short and straight to the point. Just try to read the notes and, you know, get it done. So I really hope this was informative. I hope it sparked some interest in getting your palms read. I hope you learned a little something from this video, like for real. And this is Amethyst Tuesday wishing you well from afar. Goodbye.